Welcome back to the channel, guys, with your two favorite European guys. I'm Sam. No, I'm not. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys, uh, this is episode 3 of Gear and Beer with myself, Steve and Sam, the two Europeans. The two Europeans back at it. <laughs> Beauty, eh? <laughs> so today, yep. we have got this guitar right here. This guitar right here! <laughs> so yeah, this is the actually um, the new 2017, well not new, it's a... Uh, Newish, 2017 New Les Paul standard. Yeah, and standard this isn't T. Not the high performance one, but the just the regular standard. Yeah, they call it a standard T or a standard traditional, where it's right. not really got all the bling stuff like yeah. um, the quadruple A maple top. This has a triple A maple top on this guy. Doesn't have the wider neck or the robot tuners. It's like a proper Les Paul though. Uh, chambered yep. body. Yep. Burst bucket pros. Yep. Uh, all sorts of interesting wizardry going on here. Uh, these are both coil splits, so you've got a coil split for the neck pickup, you've got a coil split for the bridge pickup. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a phase reversal, and this is what's known as the blow switch, which just takes the bridge pickup directly to the output jack, bypassing everything, giving you just a pure, awesome rock tone. Anyway, before we start going too much into the specs, uh, we've also got some beer going on, so here we go. So this is a childhood favourite of mine. <laughs> you know, this is brewed a little bit further north from uh, where I grew up, I believe, and it's one of my favourites. This is Boddington's, and uh, interestingly enough, the export stuff that you get over here is a higher volume, uh, higher alcohol content, 4.6. That's right, actually, yeah. I think back in England, it's like three and a bit, so uh, extra percent. Different gets, rules. Gets the job done. You Canadians like your alcohol, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from us. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, here's a beer for you, Stevie. Right here. There we are. <laughs> oh, f the head on that. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you can return the favor, Stevie, with a click. Sure. There we go. There we go man. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Here's the white mustache. Oh yeah, man. Mm. Takes me back to me youth. Uh, <laughs> it's proper stuff. Put some hair on your chest. <laughs> I, I love how smooth this stuff is. Like it's, mm. it goes down so nicely. Man. Too easy, Too especially easy. with a higher percentage alcohol. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So let's check out some coil tap moments. So Steve, if you wouldn't mind pulling my knob out. Oh. There we go. Ah. What are friends for? <laughs> Humbucker. Okay, and same in the in the neck position. Let me pull Please that knob out as well. Oh, fantastic. Okay, and here's the phase switch. And in the other position. Oh, hello. Okay, here's a few tones for you. So starting with just the bridge pickup, none of this fancy business going on, just straight up. Okay, 
middle position, so both humbuckers. <laughs> Creamy neck pick up. Honest? Have you, you had I've never had Boddington's before, so it's oh, uh, really? I'm a virgin. Pop the Boddington's cherry. Boddington's virgin. Boddington's virgin. You have to pour this like slowly, you know, but being an Irish fella, you know about pouring beer slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it's down the hatch. Down the hatch. <laughs> I have to say it's quite delightful, Samuel. I have to say it's Boddington's uh, finest pale beer, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> today is one of my favorite little gizmos this is the Yamaha THR 10X which you know we're playing through another one I've got one behind me plugged in it's always plugged in yeah. pretty much all of my YouTube stuff goes goes with that Yamaha THR can't say enough wonderful things about this amplifier Yamaha have got some of their highest end speakers in here and some amazing amp modeling and it's just my favorite little practice amplifier so yeah. all the tones are coming from this thing today. Okay, so on the THR, there's a really nice sparkly clean setting that I've gone to now. I've gone to the neck pickup, I've split it, and I've reversed the phase, and we get this. Since 1778, when it was first brewed at the Strangeways Brewery, Boddington's has been renowned as a much loved and unique pale gold ale. After pouring, the beer clears slowly in the glass to give Boddington's its distinctive creamy head and smooth body. I quite like Boddington's. It's quite simple really to be honest with you. But Boddington's Pub Ale, we salute you. Right then, checking out a few rhythm tones. Uh, bridge position humbucker, still on the brown wine setting on the THR. <laughs> two pickups together. Neck pickup. Uh, so moving over to a different setting on the THR, this is the Powerball 2 model. I've got a little chorus dialed in and some delay and reverb. <laughs> Then, Uncle Stevie? Oh, uh, what can I say? Pros. It's a Les Paul. It's a proper 
proper Les Paul. It's a Les Paul. It's one of the greatest guitars of all time. Yep. A Gibson Les Paul. Uh, you know, I think your your nan would recognise that shape. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's just one of the greatest models of electric guitars ever. Yeah, guaranteed. Like you've probably got a favourite guitar player. Guaranteed, he's got a Les Paul somewhere oh, yeah. kicking around. Yeah. yeah. Guaranteed. Uh, <coughs> you Do know, it's I don't. I don't think it's even got any cons, to be honest. <laughs> no, and I mean, like, some people will have cons if it's with, to do with the change of the pickups, or if it's a change with the chambering, or if it's a change with the colour. You know, you if, know. It, if it had the robot thing, that would be a con for me, but it doesn't. They've sorted it out. Uh, yeah. I really like all of the modern features they've done to it. I like that it's chambered, it doesn't kill you, yeah. and you're having to play for two hours. I love all of the fancy business over here. Uh, I like the cosmetic changes that they've made. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, locking machine heads, tuning stability, happy days. Yeah. Uh, I love the finish. Yeah, I think with Gibson as well, they actually do do a lot of listening to uh, their customer base in a sense. Yeah. So I mean, some people love the fact that you have these push pulls options on them, but some other people prefer traditional wiring. Mm -hmm. Now, if you know a pretty good technician and you wanted to get your standard pace, you rewired as a standard. I guess you can just get a traditional though, right? You can just get a traditional, but yeah. like with the traditional, as I said, there is some different features with traditional too, mm -hmm. that they leave the pick card on there. You yeah. got a bigger neck, you got different pickups. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the con side of it is they don't have like a standard traditional wiring in the new standards. So, I mean, but for me and Sam, we love it. Like it's a pretty cool feature. It's versatility. Yeah. It takes you less pull to the next level. You yeah. know, there's more stuff you can do with it. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, no cons really. I'm a big fan of Gibson. A proper amazing guitar. Yeah, I mean everything down to the bare bones is it's it's everything you need and more for yeah. like if you want to play blues, jazz, rock, heavy metal. Yeah. It pretty much covers all the bases in that sense. I think my only con actually might be. You know, when you pick up a couple of Les Pauls at a guitar store, mm. one will speak volumes to you, yes, and the other perhaps not. You know, it, it seems to me that some of them can be a little hit and miss, but it, it, just goes, it just goes to show that when you're buying, when you're spending big bucks on a proper guitar, you need to go to a guitar store and you need to play the guitar. Yeah. You do. You need to go in and sit down with them, and and that's very true. Like, and even with other manufacturers too, you could have like three of the same guitar yeah, back to yeah, back, for sure. and one of them's gonna play better. Because yeah. the way I describe the most of my customers is like, wood is like a fingerprint. They're all different. You mm -hmm. know, they're all gonna react different. And the thing is, you can have three of these guitars, identical finish, all that sort of stuff, back to back, and one's gonna play that bit better. That's the fun with buying guitars, though. And I mean, with Gibson, yes, they're hit and miss. You know, they can you can have some ones that don't play as nice, but they still play good. But then you get something like this. This one plays like a gem. This, yeah, this one's, one's actually, nice. this one plays really nice. Yeah, straight uh, neck, action set up well. Yeah. Yeah. We learned from last week that we had the guitar set up this time. <laughs> yeah, <that's right>. <laughs> <laughs> Last week's guitar wasn't set up. Um, but yeah, no, it's all set up. But I mean, yeah, I mean, pros and cons, I mean, everyone has their opinions. We're Gibson guys, we like Gibson. Uh, we're big fans. We're also big fans of Yamaha. Yeah, man. It's a great product, really good stuff. And you can't go wrong at the end of the day. And uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. <laughs> so, other piece of gear that we got going on today, Sam, yep. is the Yamaha. Honestly, like you use it, yeah. I use it, oh, yeah. half of the population use it. Yeah. Um, this one in particular is the 10X model, where it's actually more of a high gain. Yeah. The high gain version. Yeah. There's three versions of this. There's the THR10, which is kind of does Mid it all really. Yeah, middle of the, the road. The THR10X, which is geared towards like the high gain shredder type. Yeah. And then there's the 10C, which is like the bluesy voiced. Yeah, it's like a Vox yeah. Fender. Oh yeah, kinda... it's got like different models yeah. of uh, you know classic amps. They've all got the same effects units. You know, you've got delay, reverbs, and chorus flanges. Yeah. Uh, all, all of that business is all built in, yeah. and built I just love them. how portable they are. I've taken these on tour. It's been like my dressing room, you know. Have a little warm up amplifier. Have a little shred in the hotel room. You yeah, know. and they weigh nothing as well. They yeah. literally they're desktop amplifiers. Like you can carry them anywhere, and also it takes batteries yeah. too. So if you go camping, for most of you Canadians out there, a 
Um, you can actually take this cam and put uh, double A batteries in there. It takes eight double A batteries. Yeah. And from what I've heard, for most people that actually do like energizer rechargeables, you can get up to like seven hours continuous play on this thing. And it's got great speakers. You know, yeah. I mean, if you're just like playing music through it, it's uh, superb. Yeah, no, it's killer. Like I'm, I'm a big fan of these, and I mean they haven't really upgraded them over the years. Like I started working in Guitar Works for 2012, and they started bringing these out, um, from what I know of, and they uh, haven't really upgraded apart from the tonal patches on it. But the actual hardware itself, they've never needed to actually upgrade it because it's that good. Um, there has been some predecessors out there like Black Star and Fender Mustangs and stuff like that that kind of do the same thing. But for some reason, Yamaha have this dialed in so well. They've got the great speakers in there. It's such un a unbelievable. Like, it's just insane. That's the thing about Yamaha. It's such a diverse company that makes great hi-fi equipment. Yeah. So they can call upon that as well as their expertise in, in guitar. So, yeah, phenomenal yeah. little amplifier. Uh, highly recommend. Yeah, and they're going for $400. Again, you can go see these guys up. Go see your Uncle Stevie. Yeah. <laughs> up at uh, Guitar Works and Cross Iron. They're $400. They do do a five watt version, but it's only in the standard model, um, right. the cream one, and they do an acoustic model as well called the Five A, and uh, the A, uh, the Canadian one, Five <laughs> 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 um, A. But it comes the with different. Canadian model. Yeah, but the acoustic one actually does come with uh, different like acoustic mic modes. So you instead of getting your modeling modes like normally, it gives you mic modeling modes. So it allows you to get like a piezo versus right. like a straight on mic or anything like that too. So it's quite handy. So yeah. yeah, so let's play some more guitar. Okay, so thanks for watching guys. Today we've been checking out the THR and the 2017 Les Paul Standard. Thanks for watching. Yep. Uh, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear what you guys would like us to uh, potentially look at in the future. Yeah. Any, any things you might like to say, we'd like to read. Yeah, yeah so, just keep uh, the comments coming. So, thanks for watching. See you next week. See you next time.